What's up guys? So today I am doing a video that's a little bit different than I usually do. I'm going to be showing you guys all the albums I bought in June and July. Yeah, we're just going to talk about what I got. Also, if audio or video looks different because I'm filming on my camera, I haven't used my camera in a while because honestly I've just been lazy. It's a lot easier to film on my phone, but I'm going to try it again for this video. So let me know what you guys think. And yeah, so let's just get into the video. This is one of the first things I got this month. It is Kim Lip's Eclipse album. This album is literally beautiful, except for I have an issue with Luna repackage albums. They have recently been so dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they come extremely dirty and it's disgusting. But anyways, this album, oh my God, Kim Lip has the best solo album. In Luna, in my opinion, yeah, I just love this photo book. Palo Alto, I was so into when I was in high school. Like, I thought I was so hipster and stuff for liking it. Also, the Love Wins shirt. Oh my god. Literally a gay icon. I love Miss Kim. She's so hot, y'all. Like, she's so sexy. I wish I looked like her, but I also kind of want to date her. Yeah. So, this album is immaculate. If you haven't heard the song Eclipse, it is, like, it's unmatched also twilight is amazing too so yeah this is what the back looks like and yeah love this album the next album i have is bts's wings this is the g version and yeah i got this because i wanted to buy some more bts albums and yeah i really didn't have any oh also this is the photo card i pulled in it it was j hopes little polaroid i just keep it in here because i think it's cute it gives me incentive to open up the album if i leave photo cards in so for groups that i don't actively collect i do try and keep their photo cards in the albums so yeah this album is so so good then i bought you never walk alone part one i think the proper name is this album the inside is literally stunning i love this photo book i love this concept of course we flip to yoongi first like really but yeah, the boys look so beautiful. I love nature -y concepts. Like, I wish more groups, I wish more idol groups would do nature -y natural concepts. I think they're just beautiful. But also, that's just because I like the aesthetic of it. So, yeah. For that album, I pulled the group card, but I currently have that hanging in my room. Because I think it's so cute, so I like pinned it on my wall. So I'm not going to take that down. But yeah, next album I have is You Never Walk Alone. This album also is kind of like a flowery concept, but not really. It's more like ocean-y. Does that make sense? It's less mountain, more by the seaside. Which is so, oh my god, this picture is so cute. I also, oh my god. Y'all, oh my god, these pictures are so fucking cute. Like, I literally love this era of BTS. They all look so pretty. Oh my god, these hairstyles are so pretty. I just, I love it so much. Yeah, this is, this is everything. I pulled the group card for this album, and it's in my binder right now, so I actually won't take it out. So, yeah. But this album is beautiful. I literally love the mint green. It's one of my favorite colors. I just love this so much. Look at this picture. So fucking cute. So yeah, love this album. During the last bit of June, my G Idol I Trust signed albums from M Wave came in and I got Oogie's signature. I only bought okay, so here's the thing. In I bought, I believe, five signed albums. So I could keep obviously one Uki. I was thinking about keeping a black version Uki also or a different member. So I bought one of these and another black one and then I bought like three more so I could resell or just like help others out and get more variety So I've already sold three of those. I have another black Uki left But I don't feel like I need both of her signatures just on a different color So I'm trying to sell that one, but yeah, this is the album. I won't take it out because Honestly, I don't really love the packaging of I trust Yeah, it just makes it hard for me to like open it up and see it and like look at the album because I really love looking at the photo book but when it's in this like slip cover kind of packaging it's just kind of a hassle. I'm thinking at the end of this year I'm going to be making a least favorite and favorite packaging of the year. So yeah stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're interested. Next up this month I got Wavy's Awaken the World album. I got both versions. It was Wavy's first full album. 
Um, for this poster, I have Yang Yang, which is so cute. I keep the posters in here because I, I don't really see a point to it. If you want to see my proper unboxing, I have one on my channel. I actually bought six total copies of this album so I could get more pulls. And so yeah, this album is so fucking good. Like y'all, if you have not listened to the songs on it, it is so good. Domino is amazing. After Midnight, such a little sexy bop. I love it. Like, yeah, it's just a great album. So yeah, I pulled Win Win's full set for both of these albums, um, which is funny because low-key, I do be thinking I might be changing biases. <laughs> so I got the Lucas poster in this version. But um, yeah, what I mean by that is that lately, Win Win has just been bias wrecking me. He's always been my bias wrecker in Wavy, but lately it's been unmatched. I don't know what it is. I feel I just love him so freaking much. And I'm honestly starting to think he actually is my bias, which is crazy because y'all know I love my boy Lucas. But low-key, I do think he might just be a bias wrecker now and not my real bias. That's some tea. Wow. Next up, we have NCT 127's Neo Zone Kino. Kinos are so fucking cute. I'm definitely going to buy more in the future because these are so fun. I like how sweet and small they are and they look good on a shelf. We stand. But um, these are the instructions. And then it comes with this. I actually bought this on Mercari Japan and um, bought it with specifically Johnny's photo card because it's so fucking cute. Let me just show it to you guys. Okay, so this is the photo card. It's currently in a top loader because I wanted to decorate it and um, it's not decorated fully. It's eventually gonna have a lot of stickers on here but I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, this card is so fucking cute. I will literally never let go of it. Okay, we are almost done actually. So this is Eyes One's Hard Eyes album. I bought this recently because I've started standing Eyes One, and for the slipcover, I pulled Wan Young, which is so pretty. I have to say, this is like a stunning album concept. Oh my god, hello. Hello. Oh my god. I'm actually thinking of trading this to Yena. She is my Eyes One bias. I literally love her so much. She I don't know how she climbed up my bias list so fast, but she's literally my second ult bias for female idols. Talk about a slay for her. Anyways, I'm thinking of trading this to Yenna. I don't know how hard that is. Yenna is a pretty popular member, so I'm thinking <laughs> good luck to me. And it comes with this little pop-up that I really don't fully understand. I'm, am I supposed to, like, completely flatten this out? Because that stress is... Well, we're gonna do it. Oh! Oh, and it just... That's kind of stunning. I love this album. I love uh, these like 60s mod uh, dresses are so freaking cute. The color blocking is beautiful. Um, I have to say I love that Yemma's color is yellow. I think it fits her so perfectly. Our little duckling, she's so cute. Oh, also I think Nako looks beautiful this era. This wavy, that's not, how do people say it? Beach wave, beach waves? Oh my god, why am I so stupid? Anyways, she just looks so fucking good. Like, oh my god, I really think Nako looked amazing. Sakura's, like, blonde hair, I love it so much. It's so, per uh, yeah, it just, every girl looks amazing. Eyes one, visuals, whatever. Putting this album back together, though, not my fave. Oh my god, and now there's dog hair in my album. Y'all ever just have dog hair in your fucking K-pop album? And the last album I got this month is Eyes One's Wanderick Diary. This comeback was so good. This is what made me stand Eyes One. I love Secret Story of the Swan. That song is so fucking good. So that's literally how I got an Eyes One. I listened to Fiesta when it came out, but I'll be honest, I really wasn't a big fan. I could not get into Fiesta, and I still kind of stand by that. I don't love it. As a title track, I feel like it's an okay song, but I don't know. It just wasn't for me. But this comeback, however, beautiful. So I got the diary version because I personally think this is such a cute version. I pulled Unbi's cover case. She looks so pretty. Unbi, she is just like so fucking talented. Like, <sighs> and then inside, 
you get the little container thingy that has your stickers and your photo cards. I pulled Hitomi stickers. I also pulled Chewan's photo card, a Wan Young photo card, and Yuri's AR card, which I'm trading to Yenna. So yeah, um, this is so freaking cute. Like I literally oh, just can't believe. Um, yeah, this album is really good too. Merry-Go-Round is like giving me disco realness. Wow, like these songs are so good. I just love Eyes One. I think they're so cute. I really don't want them to disband, especially because I just got into them, like, ugh, of course. So, yeah, I just love them so much. They look so cute. But I will support them wherever they go next. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys would like me to do more things like this. Um, and, yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.